So today we're at Hollywood Stars Tattoo in Westchester. We're like right down the street from LAX. I'm tattooing David. He's one of my longtime clients. Uh, David's been around for like about six, seven years. So I've been tattooing about like nine and a half years. So he's been with me for a long time. Um, he has one of my first portraits that I've ever done, uh, Frankenstein. He always kind of trusts me with designs and stuff like that, so I have a lot of fun tattooing him. Uh, what's cool about David is when you look at his collection, it's like a really cool, um, like a timeline, because there's like kind of years in between, and each tattoo, like I progress a little bit more, and it's like a different time, a different period of uh, creativity, I guess, and like tools that I have, and different uh, different situations. And, he has like one of my first really good uh, black and gray portraits. He has one of my first back pieces that I've ever done. He's even let me like do one of my first color portraits. So we've done a lot of cool stuff on him. I'm really excited to tattoo him today. Today we're doing a really cool tattoo. It's like almost like a surrealistic take on like some darker imagery. Uh, we're gonna do like a lot of black and gray in it and then do some hints of color. Should be pretty fun in a realistic style. He kind of bugged me for a while. <laughs> like every time I would tattoo him or we'd see each other, he'd say like, hey, you know, bring up the back piece, bring up. And it was a really cool idea, but every time I kind of didn't, I wasn't sure of myself, so I didn't know whether or not I wanted, like what I wanted to do. Anytime I drew something up, I was just like, not too fond of it, but I knew it was such a big project that I was, I needed it to be like, you know, this, this masterpiece. And then finally I just got like, a little spark or like, I don't know what the heck it was, I don't even remember, but it was pretty much how it went, how he said it's just like, I got like hungry at some point and I said, I'm gonna do this back piece and I just committed to it. I texted him, he said he was down, so like that week we put together like a really cool uh, comp. So it was just like a first pass of kinda how it would look. And uh, I, I used a lot of Photoshop, so like a lot of the stuff in there is from photographs, but I put together probably like 40 different photographs into like one image. For the back piece, it took about nine sessions, somewhere around 30-ish hours. Uh, we did it over the course of like three months. So he was in, in some pain. It was like week after week. Uh, we did a session, I think the longest we went without doing a session was like two weeks maybe. So every week he was in just getting more and more hours. My favorite part about getting tattoos is um, just like the process of doing it, how people pull it off in different ways. There's just so many different categories and styles and it's just interesting to see how everybody does it their own way. My most favorite was uh, the Frankenstein piece that I got from them because I had wanted it since I first saw the Frankenstein movie when I was like 15, 16. And, um, and so I always wanted it on my forearm because um, I knew I wanted it for a long time. So the fact that he killed it the first time, like, and it automatically became my favorite piece. The last piece I got from him was this skull with the record player brain. And that's just one of my favorites because I either always have a song in my head, always list like dissecting the song that I'm listening to, or playing drums, guitar, or looking up different artists to listen to. So that's why I wanted that piece. The piece I'm getting today doesn't really mean anything, but I saw, uh, had an idea of what I had, gave Joseph the ideas with my little tweaks that I had added, and I knew he would kill it and like understand what I was talking about, so I just shot him the ideas and he went with it, so now we're getting it today.